How's it going everybody? Andy McCullough from the Los Angeles Times here with Bill Plaschke, also of the Los Angeles Times. We are here at Wrigley Field, a very old ballpark that needs more elevators, and the Dodgers only need one more win one to get to the World Series. One win away from the first World Series in 29 years. Big 6-1 to one victory tonight. Amazing that they did it with all the little components that have helped them do it all year. They did it with Chris Taylor, who didn't make a team out of spring training. They did it with Jock Peterson. Who got? Who was sent Didn't down? Make the team sent, out of the end of the season. And at the end of the season, and they did it with the favorite play of the postseason that Andy wrote eloquently about in tomorrow's LA and in the LA Times today. Hugh Darvish drawing a bases loaded walk on RBI. Explain why that play was so cool. Well, you know, uh, we've talked a lot about the things Dave Roberts does as a manager and the way he's just very, he manages with urgency. You know, he's willing to, you know, take his pitchers out really early. And here was a moment where, you know, he kind of opted for uh, a more regular season approach almost, you know, and it's the sort of thing where when you're living right, you know, you get rewarded for that. So Darvish comes up, you know, he's facing Carl Edwards Jr., your man, the string bean slinger, string bean slinger. your favorite pitcher. Uh, you know, a guy who I've seen pretty good a lot, but apparently he can't throw the baseball over the plate anymore. And Edwards bases loaded, came, bases loaded, two outs. It's amazing. And Edwards that he batted comes for in. And yeah, and it's, it's in the sixth inning too, not the fourth inning. You know, the sixth inning at the time when you know this is when Roberts goes to his bench. This is guy's had four hits in five years and one RBI in five years. Right. He played. He played in the American League up until you know like <laughs> August. And Darvish just basically hunkers over the plate and tries to look intimidating. And Edwards throws four straight balls. And it was, uh, you know, it's the sort of thing in, in the moment. It looks like a really surprising, sort of curious thing, but it's just another chapter on what's been a like a, almost a perfect postseason for the Dodgers. And it's. Perfect. In fact, literally perfect. They haven't lost yet this postseason. If they sweep tomorrow, it'll be their first sweep since they swept the Yankees in 1963 out of the World Series. What was that series like, Phil? Oh, it was it was okay. You know, the the access was a little tight. Access was a little tight. Whitey Ford was a nice Did guy. You have your couplers, I guess. Yeah. It was like that. That. And it, anyway, it's it's amazing. The, his, the history they're making now is unbelievable, and they're one win away from getting there. But they're all being very cool about it. Yeah. Nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to take a step forward. No. Nobody wants to say anything. They very much resemble the team they were for most of the summer. You know, they understand how good they are. Their goal is to show up, kick ass that day, and figure it out. I mean, remember, they're playing without Corey Seager. Corey Seager's there. You know, you can argue whether it's You know, I actually Justin. forgot tonight. I forgot that. Yeah. I forgot that. They are that. playing without, you know, Corey Seager, depending on how you feel about Justin Turner, is either their best or second best player. And they haven't missed a beat. It's really incredible. It's a testament to what the front office has done, what the uh, what Dave Roberts and his coaches have done, and what the players are doing. I mean, you have Andre Ethier coming in here cold. It's the second pitch he sees, he parks in the, Boom. you know, uh, off the, uh, off the scoreboard. scoreboard out there and, you know, basically quiets this crowd. You know, Cubs fans, it's not cool anymore. More. It's kind of like the Red Sox in 05. Where's, there, where's everybody? <laughs> it was this time last year, and, Andy, and Andy's, Andy's written about this a lot. The Dodgers got a lot of their motivation for this year when they lost in the NLCS yeah. last year. Here they were stuck for more than an hour in the clubhouse. Everybody's celebrating. They couldn't get out. The streets are empty. The stadium's empty. We're gonna the get Dodgers are cleaning this place out. We're going to get an Uber home, and it's going to be really easy. It's going to be really easy. So this is uh, We're not going to get gouged on the Uber like we were last year. It's, 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 Shout out to the LA Times Finance Department. It's amazing what the Dodgers have done and what we think they will be able to do. Are they going to sweep tomorrow? I think they sweep. I think they do, and if they don't, it's it's over. You know? oh, of course it's I over, mean, yeah. Only just one, ask Dave Roberts. What can happen when you're up 3-0? Only one team in history has ever come back from 3-0. <laughs> Dave Roberts was on that team. It ain't happening here. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you can read all the coverage in the pages of the LA Times at latimes.com slash sports. Follow Bill on Twitter at Bill Plaschke, and you can follow me at McCullough Times. Follow Dylan Hernandez. Give him credit. He's the one who brought you Darvish to Los Angeles.